Hi, my name is Rich Ross, and I'm here to bring you another episode of MTC Snackables. In this one, we're going to talk about Azure DevOps projects. And Azure DevOps projects, I think of it as file new project for Azure, in that you define the language or the framework you want to use for your project, you define how you want to deploy that project into Azure, and then you also say where you want your code and your release and build pipelines to exist from an Azure DevOps organization perspective. Uh, providing a little bit of configuration around that uh, in a few minutes of time, you're able to get uh, essentially have a starter project that you can use to continue and iterate on for your application. The underlying Azure infrastructure with all the pieces needed to have your application run. And then finally, in your Azure DevOps environment, a complete continuous integration, continuous delivery set of build and release pipelines so that as you create code and check that code into your environment, it immediately gets deployed out to the Azure infrastructure that you've uh, defined. So what we'd like to do is take a few minutes to walk through that. And to do that, we're going to jump into the portal. Here we are in the Azure portal. If I click on the create new button, I am taken out to the marketplace with all the cool things you can see out there. I'm going to type in DevOps. project and that's going to bring us right to our ability to create a DevOps project. I'm going to hit create and inside of here this is where we get presented with a host of choices of all the great things that you can just uh, host inside of your Azure environment. So it doesn't matter the language that you're using whether it's .NET, whether it's Node.js, PHP, Python, Java, you can bring those languages and frameworks into the Azure environment natively and have them run on uh, on many of the services that we have inside the Azure world. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to say, let's go ahead and create a Python project. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do next. If I say I want to go ahead and create a Flask project, I can uh, select that say next, and then I have the option to define where I want that Flask application to run, whether it just runs as a code running inside of a uh, Windows web app, or I could actually have it run inside of a container running inside of my web app. So the ability to uh, stand up all the infrastructure required to make containers run inside of our app services. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose that. And we'll hit next. Then I get to the last page where I go ahead and create uh, or define actually the variables that I want to use uh, around project name, what subscription, what Azure DevOps organization, and if I want to change what my Azure web app uh, name is going to be for my app service, where I want this to deploy. There are additional uh, settings you can get into uh, to uh, provide additional bits of configuration. We're going to keep those pretty simple right now and just basically accept uh, the settings that are given to us, click done. And it's going to take a few seconds for this to get built behind the scenes. All right, so through the magic of video, we can see that we've gotten all of the components created inside of Azure, uh, our CI CD pipeline. We've got uh, access to our Azure endpoint. And then from this dashboard, we can get to any of the uh, any of the items we want to inside of our uh, inside of this project that we just created, whether they are things that reside inside of Azure or things that reside over in the Azure DevOps environment, we've got access to click into any one of those and see where they are, as well as the current status of those. So you can see we've got a build dated uh, uh, 2019-09-15, and the first release of the day it succeeded. You can see all the tests that passed. You can see everything about your build and your release pipelines all here from the one dashboard page, as well as the ability to click and follow them along. So I hope this video was helpful to show you how easy it is to get up and running in Azure and Azure DevOps, even if you've never created a project before inside of any of those uh, services. Uh, with a few clicks and a little bit of configuration, you're able to have an end-to-end -end, uh, pipeline to get your code to your infrastructure so it's available to you and your end users. Uh, if you want to have a deeper discussion around Azure or development or Azure DevOps itself, feel free to reach out to your account team. They can bring you into the MTC here where we can talk to you about all the great things that can be done in those products and services. Uh, if this video was of interest to you as well, please click the subscribe button down below. This way you can be alerted to more MTC snackable content as we produce it. Thanks for watching.